Next one. Um, listen, I, I really like Dave Canales, who Carolina Panthers hire, former Bucks offense coordinator. Loved watching that offense last year. Uh, again, to to steal your phrase here from the last couple of ones, I, you can feel, it feels like you could tell that Dave Canales gets it. You, it feels like you can tell he knows what to do to get the mo- best out of his personnel, the best out of his quarterbacks. Obviously, he has a history with the aforementioned Geno Smith as well. They hire a couple guys from that staff. Uh, Brad Idzik, former Bucks wide receiver coach, to be the offense coordinator. Uh, Harold Goodwin, who's been around the game for a long time, he is going to be the same title that he had with the Buccaneers, assistant head coach and run game coordinator. Um, but man, Ben, it, it feels like this team still, even if I like Canales, has a long, long way to go to even just get to competency on yeah. offense. Yeah, Canales was my, like, is going to get interviews this year and then be the hottest candidate next year guy coming into the cycle. I said, yeah. the, I said the exact same yeah, thing yeah. during this And process. then the Panthers were kind of like, hey, well, we need some time anyway, so we might as well get a year ahead of this thing. And honestly, I respect. I think that's a good call. I don't. I like that. Like, I think that's a good approach. That makes sense to me. Um, Canales, yeah. Like uh, the 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 change from the Tampa twenty two offense to the Tampa twenty three offense when Canales came in was marked. Right, it was noticeable. It's like, hey, like Mike Evans can run more than three routes. Actually, like, let's ask him to do that. You know, uh, we have this stable of 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 uh of receivers in the back who can like fill roles for us let's get a trey palmer game let's get a devin tompkins game we had they had the uh uh you know let's get rashad white involved in the passing game let's get kate otten more involved like there like he just he made everything so easy on baker and mm-hmm. baker could execute and like you know clearly like, like the floor for baker is high enough that he can get that on the field and then you have your, your star receiver and you understand how to get him activated in the game so you need him like they just uh, the, the luke decky thing worked at right tackle the tristan worst thing worked at left tackle like every single thing Thing that they did offensively worked, which creates an unrealistic expectation <laughs> that we should not carry into the Panthers at tenure. But I do think he's yeah. going to be a pretty substantial jump for for Bryce Young. Like I was, I was a pretty big. I, it's wrong to say I was a Bryce Young doubter because I had graded very highly coming out of Alabama. But I was a big like, hey, like if this doesn't work, it won't work. Like if he's just too small, right. he's just too small. Period. Like there's there's worlds in which he's just bottom tier. And I think in year one, we saw kind of what that could look like. I do think there'll be a pretty big jump with, with Canales there in year two. I, I don't know if it'll, you know, I'm sure it'll trick Panthers fans into believing that Young is real. I don't know if it'll ever like, you know, wash away the, the pain of, of CJ Stroud at two and, and Bryce Young at one. But I do think there could be a pretty big jump with Canales because I do think he makes things very easy on his quarterback. He makes it clear where your eyes go, clear where the ball goes. The timing of it is nice. I think he's going to, he, he maximizes players very well. I think they're going to get better at running back targets and tight end targets, everything shallow, all, everything underneath that, that uh, both Thomas Brown and Frank Reich tried to do that they couldn't get done. I think they'll get a lot better at the easy stuff, the layup stuff, because Canales just does a lot of that, 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 RPO game and that quick game and that underneath game with intention. And he does it with detail the way that to, to make those layups actually work like layups. Like they drill that stuff very nicely. So I think that he's going to be good for them. Right, is the future of offense in Carolina at quarterback? I'm not convinced. Uh, so there's a chance that yeah. like we end up talking about, you know, 2025, 26. Okay, Canales is very good, but they clearly need to make a quarterback change. They've hit the ceiling on this offense. But that's next year problem. This year problem is, can right. you get something with Bryce working? And I, I, honestly, I think it can. Yeah, I think they can get Bryce working. I kind of compared it a little bit to the Jared Goff Rams model from when they fired Jeff Fisher, they hired Sean McVay, probably, again, a lot earlier than people expected. But at the same time, and it's funny because we said Goff was kind of limited earlier, but even you could just compare physical gifts wise, like Goff is a much superior product to, to Bryce Young, another former first overall pick. I'm just curious, Ben, like from the way Dave Canales designs and runs offense, do you think it even, I mean, should it even matter if it fits with some of these guys that are on this team right now? Because they they are locked into Adam Thielen on a three-year deal. You know, they draft Jonathan Mingo in the second round. They spent money on like Hayden Hurst and Miles Sanders, but they're starting Chuba Hubbard by the end of the season. Do we expect any of these guys that I just mentioned to be a part of the immediate, I'm not talking long-term future, but just even like the 2024 immediate future of the Panthers off? I mean, I think you'll see Thielen be that because... Thielen will be healthy and he'll be spry and he'll be fresh. And like when he was that, it was it was working for them. I don't know if that'll be a 17 game thing. Uh, and, I, and I certainly don't think you want to live in a universe where Adam Thielen is getting as many targets as he was last year. But that might be your best option wide receiver wise. Um, so, yeah, I think that, that you're going to get that from them. They'll try it with Mingo. Were you a Mingo guy? I thought Mingo could only really succeed in one role, which is kind of the role that Adam Thielen was playing yeah. last year, where he's an off ball slot guy. You're getting him a lot of just like quick hitting targets. I don't love the stuff that they did from him with him last year, where he's 
a perimeter guy. I mean, he still played a lot of flanker. He wasn't like a pure X. DJ Chark was kind of their pure X last year, but he's a vertical receiver. They did try some of the crossing stuff, but I was very kind of mixed on Mingo and really only kind of liked him in that one role. Yeah, so... uh I like I, I was not a huge Mingo guy. I'll be curious to see what they do with him. I'm a lot more interested in like them bringing in other options and finding some more speed stuff. And like, uh, there's no one on that rod. Like, you know, Terrace Marshall. Sure, let's see. Right. Like, it, there's not like a lot. It's exciting. But like, go get a fourth enough. rounder and see what he can do. Um, the main thing, like, the main thing I'll be interested in in year one is like, okay, if they just get offensive line stability and you know, an offensive line improvement. Yeah. Um, oh, right. They had so much instability last year. Ikki Aquanu, that left tackle, has been a, a pro now for two years. He's had four game stretches where you're like, yep, that. There it is. That's what it is. And then it's gone. Yeah, and yeah. so like, it's somewhere in there. And, and you brought up Harold Goodwin, uh, who's an uh, 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 offensive line coach, run game coordinator for a while there with the Buccaneers. And he's now assistant head coach, run game coordinator. He's got an offensive line background to him. I'll be curious to see what they're able to do with Ikki. But if you figure Ikki out, and like Moten's a good right tackle and I mean, Bradley Bozeman's on extension. Austin Corbett's on extension. Like, you have dudes. Like, you can get this line to be a lot better. And then that takes so much pressure off of Bryce. That's where I'm more... Like, they've got more fruit on the vine. Where, like, if they figure things out, that offensive line can take a big step forward. Relative to wide receiver, where they clearly just need to make additions no matter what. 